Head cannons that were you might not be ready for five years after the Battle of Hogwarts. At Ginny and Harry's wedding, Ginny danced twice with George, once for himself and once in Fred's stead. After the Battle of Hogwarts, Neville visited his parents and recounted everything that had happened. When he finished, his mother, who usually never spoke, looked at him and said proudly, Harry and Ginny later established a Christmas tradition in their life, always hanging a sock on the Christmas tree in memory of Harry's most loyal friend, Dobby. The couple also visited Aunt Petunia one day, who nearly fainted upon seeing them, briefly mistaking them for Lily and James. Percy Weasley often visited Fred's grave to tell his late brother jokes he thought Fred would have liked. Harry refused to celebrate his 22nd birthday, struggling with the fact that he was now officially older than his parents ever were. The only reason Dobby knew the tales of the great Harry Potter was that Draco excitedly 